Hello, it's lovely to be back from maternity leave and to have the honour of speaking into your life today. Today we are continuing to look at Proverbs and they are the, the wise sayings of King Solomon. And uh, the proverb that we're looking at comes from chapter 4, verse 23, which says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Guard your heart. What does this mean and how can we do it? Now the word heart in this verse is most commonly translated as mind, but it gives, but it means more than this. It means the emotions, the will and our whole inner being. It's the hidden part of ourselves. It's what's going on inside. Rightly, well-being has become a watchword and we're increasingly aware of the importance of recognising our emotions and the importance of our mental, psychological and spiritual health. But Jesus has long been concerned about the internals of our life. He has always known the importance of what's going on inside. He has said, he said, out of the overflow of our hearts, the mouth speaks. As much as we can try to put on a mask or present an image, what is going on in the inside will always seep through. And that's where we need to put our focus if we want to live well. So how do we guard our hearts? How do we protect our mental, psychological and spiritual health? I'm going to go to Philippians 4 for some insight into how to do this. Philippians 4 says, firstly, we need to be careful about what we give our attention to. It says to think about whatever is true, whatever is noble, right, pure, lovely and admirable, excellent and praiseworthy. To think about these things. How do we spend our leisure time? What do we watch on TV? What conversations do we choose to engage with? The things that we let into our hearts and minds matter. Let's seek out those excellent things, the beauty that's all around us, the people who bring life with their words. Secondly, Philippians says, don't partner with anxiety. Now I want to be very clear here. I'm not saying that if you suffer with anxiety, this is your choice or your fault. Please seek professional help if your anxiety is uncontrollable. This does not make you a bad Christian. However, the Bible continually tells us not to worry. And I think that we can sometimes use worry in ways that are unhelpful as a protection or a defence. If I'm facing a difficult situation, I can sometimes jump to the worst case scenario as a way of feeling in control. I can be like, well, if if this happens, then that's what I'm going to do. And if that happens, then that's what I'm going to do. But actually, we're not in control of anything. God is in control and he is with us. So we can choose to turn to him instead and lay down our worry. Which leads me to the third way in which we can guard our hearts. We can pray about everything. Everything. There is nothing too little or too big to pray about at any time. God is with us all through the day and night. Turning to God who is bigger than us brings us perspective and guards our minds from turning inwards. And prayer works. Fourthly, and finally, we can guide our hearts by giving thanks always. Cultivating a grateful attitude has been shown to have multiple health benefits in lots of studies. But there's some, and there's always something that we can be thankful for. It stops us from focusing on the negative, being thankful, and guards my heart from being overwhelmed by all the things about this world that are wrong. Philippians also says that it is the peace of God that guards our hearts. Philippians 4 says that if we think about what is good, if we don't partner with anxiety, if we pray about everything and give thanks always, the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So let's pray that God sends his peace to guard our hearts today because everything we do flows from our hearts. What's going on inside of us will come out in ways that we don't expect 
And when our hearts are at peace with God, his light will shine out, encouraging others to come and find that peace for themselves. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you send your peace to guard our hearts as we turn to you. Lord, we pray that you would send out your Holy Spirit to be with each one of us, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing. Help us to think about things that are good. Help us to not worry. Help us to pray about everything. And help us to be a people who cultivate a grateful attitude. Lord, may your light shine out of our innermost being today as we trust in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. God bless.